When I'm teaching, I hate being stuck at the front of the room. Today, we're gonna to look at a Chrome extension that lets you control Google Slides from any device. A hat tip off to one fab teacher who turned me on to this extension this week when I stumbled across one of her videos. I love her videos, go check her out. I have a link to the video where she talks about this extension down in the notes. So what this extension does is allows you to present your Google Slides in a window and advance the slides from another device. And we're gonna show that. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and install the extension Remote for Slides. I've got a link down in the show notes so you can go directly to there and install it. Once it's installed, it throws the icon up on here. And remember, if you've seen any of my other videos, by default, this little pin is not pinned. See, it goes away. Bye-bye. You don't need it actually turned on for this to work. I'm just gonna turn it off so, we, so you can see that it doesn't need to, need to be turned on. And it won't be turned on when you install it. So, problem solved. Once you have it installed and you go to your presentation, you have a new button present with remote, which is different than present or any of these other presents. To get started with the extension, we use that present with remote and it pops up our presentation. You notice it popped it up in a new tab and down in the bar, we have some new items. Start remote and then this address here, s.limhenry.xyz or to remember it, slimhenry.xyz is the address you'd put into your device. I'm gonna demonstrate with a little graphic of an iPhone, but you can use any device, Android device, anything that can pull up a website you can use. So I've got my iPhone up here and I've got my presentation so you can see what's happening on the iPhone and the presentation at the same time. We need to hit start remote and this slide ID does not change. Something to keep in mind of in the future it will hide after a while. You can always hit that refresh ID, but because it doesn't change, if a student gets it, they could sign in and start advancing your slides for you, which is probably not what you wanna do. 294710. And now you know my code, so I'll have to change that. So I on my mobile device, 294710. I enter that code, that, they, that ID that they showed there. And on my mobile device, this is the address I went to and I hit connect, and now I get only two buttons on my phone or tablet or whatever. I'm just gonna use phone for now so we don't get confused. Now I can easily advance through my slides. It automatically starts a counter, a timer, so you know how long you've been talking. When this hits 10, probably time to be quiet. We'll see how good I do today because I'll probably go over 10 even though I don't want to. I just get excited and I start talking. From your device, you can hit next slide and it immediately advances. Click and it immediately advances. I can go back, previous slide, previous slide, next, next. So that's really cool. That's basically all you need to do to get started with this extension. But wait, there's more. If you put your slide notes, put notes for slides in your presentation, See, I put some in here just so we can see it. This is my first page of speaker notes. In the upper right corner, there's a little speech bubble. When I click it, it shows my speaker notes for that slide and shrinks down the buttons. So now I can plan out everything I wanna say. You know, you think you're gonna remember everything that you wanna say and you get done and three minutes after you're done, you realize, oh, I forgot to tell you this and I forgot to tell you that. This way you can write it down in your slide notes for those that don't know the box down here at the bottom, but you can write them into your notes. And then as you advance through the slides, this is my first page of speaker notes. And if you see me looking off to the right, that's where I have the iPhone set up so I can see it. So let's start up that whole mess again. Once the extension is installed on your device, you navigate to slimhenry, s.limhenry.xyz. On your computer, you hit present with remote and then start remote. Type in your code and you're good to go. And I just thought of something, your students to use this, well, they're gonna know the address cause it's right here at the bottom. So even then you might not want them to see that. So how do you show this without them seeing it? Look on your projector remote and I bet there's a freeze button on there. 
You can bring up your presentation, but before you hit that start button, freeze the screen, and then you can hit that start button. And once it's fr once the side ID is hidden, then you can unfreeze the screen and they'll see it all. So that's a way to get around that. So that's it for today. Hopefully this will be something that you can use in your classroom in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm still trying to get enough so I can enough subscribers so I can rename the channel and not have it be some generic long random bunch of characters. Also check out my website at educate.me. Stay classy.